many people they are using other powers they are using other and other fire you see and the, uh, and other powers to beguile you to beguile you to lead you astray and uh, i want to read a little bit from second corinthians chapter 11 from verse 1 I wish you bear with me while I indulge in a little foolishness, but indeed you are bearing with me as you read this. I am jealous for you with a godly jealousy because I promise you to one husband to present you as a pure virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that even as the serpent beguiled Eve by his cunning, your minds may be corrupted and led astray from the simplicity of your sincere and pure devotion to Christ. For you seem willing to allow it if one comes and preaches another Jesus, and we have not another Jesus whom we are not preached, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or a different gospel from the one you accepted. So, if you look into the, if I recall correctly now, the Orthodox Jewish Bible, the OJB translation, it's not only using the word another Jesus or a different spirit, but that word, that translation is using the word another Holy Spirit. That tells us a lot, people of God, another Holy Spirit. You see, so it will be something that you will think is the Holy Spirit. It will be something in their sermons of these false apostles, false prophets, false ministers that, that disguise themselves as ministers of light. It will be something there that you think is the Holy Spirit. It will be another Jesus that is preached and another gospel. They will distort the gospel of Christ and twist it and appeal to your sensible or to your worldly desires, to your earthly nature. And that will be their focus, you see. You have to be able to distinguish between that which is from the evil one and that which is from God. When God is speaking to you, when God is warning you, when you read the Bible, you use, you read it through the Googles of the Holy Spirit, you read it through the understanding of the Holy Spirit, through the interpretation of the Holy Spirit, and not through the interpretation of something that a man or woman of God have come up with in their new so-called revelations.